if you have to tell a guy to say sorry, if you have to tell a guy, you know, like what you want, like no, not say sorry, but like even if like I guess that's why when she said emotional intelligence, that comes into play. Also, just being able to properly communicate because it's like. Yeah, you do spend so much time. You can communicate. You can effectively communicate how to tell an old dude on on your head side you've never met, lives in a whole another place, how to come around the corner and kill this guy, and you know you want your stupid ass game, but you can't effectively communicate with me when I tell you, hey, so I really didn't appreciate when you do didn't do da 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 or how you know things have been between us, and you're like. Oh my god, you're bitching again. You want you want to know you're a you want to know why though? Like like y'all want to know why guys don't want to talk about those things? Because we're shamed so hard for for basic stuff. Like I didn't like that you post. Like he might be moody and sad about something that you posted on Instagram, and y'all have already had five fights over it, and he lost every one of them. He doesn't know any steel mans on why you shouldn't be able to post that on Instagram, and you destroy him in every one of the debates. And he sits there and, and he's like, you know what? This has happened again. I was going to sit here depressed and the fucking game. I'm not going to talk to her. Or last time I told her how I felt, she fucking used it against me. I, I was vulnerable and she used it all against me. So it's just like a lot of guys, we learn very quick that it's not worth it talking to y'all about any of that. Like any of it. I'm, I'm serious. Like I don't think a guy should talk to y'all about any issues. He should always go to his boys and talk to him. And like if y'all have an issue, y'all can talk it out. But I don't think no, that he should talk to you some, about any issues. Some men aren't good at talking. And Would you feel the that. same in a marriage? Yeah. You Wait. feel the same in a marriage? Yeah, because even in a marriage, like you gotta, men and women are just different. Like we solve problems differently. Like I we're agree. very logical and y'all are very emotional. So, like, this is gonna sound <laughs> up, but like guys need to treat women like children. Like that's like that. That's as simple as it is. Okay, like we, like like, like 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 like. Well, because yeah, and the men that act like children shouldn't be in relationships. You shouldn't be with them. Like those are guys that should be not allowed to be with. Because a true stoic man, like a woman's emotional wave, should be able to crash on his rock. Like he, he's supposed to be the, the rock that doesn't move yeah. and, and her emotionalness doesn't do nothing, doesn't budge him, doesn't do anything. So what y'all do is y'all test all the time. And like what a test is, and you don't even do this on purpose. You do it subliminally. So when you test a guy, it's like, well, you go do this. And he's just like, no, I don't want to go do it right now. And you're like, but I don't really want to do it. And like, whenever it turns into it, say he keeps responding back to you and arguing back. And it turns into this big thing where y'all are yelling at each other. He failed the test. What he could have been like is, no, I'll do it later. And then you get mad. It's like, I'll do it later. And then he just ignores you or just lets you like get mad and that act emotional. And he's just like, it's okay. She's on her period or whatever. But a woman is different from a child. And then if a man is going to be a man, he should be able to, to pass the test by automatically shutting it down. Do you want a man that's a leader? You... A leader, always. Yeah. So like, because y'all usually want a guy that's taller, faster, stronger, a leader, right? Okay, so with coming or with being a leader usually comes with responsibility. Right. Okay, so with having responsibility means that you're giving him that responsibility. Exactly. And so, like, you shouldn't have to worry about those but things. But I'm still that. not going to be a child. I'm going to be a woman. I'm going to be a lady. Well, no. So, like, if you're giving responsibility to somebody, you're under them. So, like, just like how the parents are over the children, it's the same dynamic. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing. It's actually the Bible talk. If y'all want to, here's the thing. A lot of the stuff that I bring up on the show, ladies, like I bring up Dr. David Buss, um, the, the evolution of desire. I bring up um, Marty Hazelton, hormonal alpha God by Hector Garcia. These are all scientists. These are all people that are at universities that do studies. Okay. I'm not some genius. Yeah, I don't sure. do, I didn't go to college. I ain't smart. And then those are all descriptions. Those are all descriptive things. I give y'all descriptions of how the world is. Okay. When it comes to prescriptions where I like to tell y'all what to do, most of it is coming from the Bible. So once again, don't shoot the messenger because this is like, I'm just going to tell y'all exactly what is the best for y'all. And this, and this is what the Bible says is best is that this is the cycle of relationship. It's based off respect and love. Okay. So children need to respect their parents and their parents are to love their children. And then in return, it's the same in a relationship. A marriage should be the woman respects her husband and her husband will love her. That's and true. and That's whenever true. whenever that dynamic is going perfectly perfect in a circle, everything is great. But the reason why that's messed up today is because women have to provide for themselves, or women are providers now. Because so, women don't know how to be submissive. Yeah, so well, well, y'all have more responsibility. So therefore, if you have more responsibility, then you're like, I can't respect this person because you have more responsibility. But if you are in a situation where the guy has responsibility, you should be able to be okay. Like I've had a lot of women on the show be like. I like it when he treats me like a child. Like I like it whenever he like talks to me and he's and because y'all don't have it's nothing to worry about, huh? 